I'm just kidding. Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're new here before you leave, feel free to leave a subscribe. I am Amelis. I do nursing videos, vlogs, challenges, videos like this, etc. And if you've been here from day one, welcome people, welcome people. You already know the vibe. No. As you can tell by the title, you might be wondering what the hell, what the heck, what is she going, to, what is she talking about, what what's happening. Um, so let me just clear it up. I'll be sharing someone's story. Um, she's a student here, or was a student here, and um, I wanted her to be in this video. I interviewed her this morning, but you know her story is a bit personal, and she didn't want to show herself. Um, but she, I did the interview and I have a list of the, all the questions that I asked along with her response and she gave me the go ahead to share it. Now, this story is about a nursing student who failed a and B six times, academic writing one three times, research methodology, pathophage, academic writing two twice, diatherapy, pharmacology, biostats. No. That's a handful of subjects. Um, she's been at the university for seven years in total. So, if you would like to hear about that story, just just keep on watching. It's gonna be a good listen. Let's get into the video. <laughs> I heard about this girl through like rumors, people I was attacked, and especially nursing student, morning per class with woman, they ever chat. So my chat good, so not chat bad, but people ever chat. So I was in, it was my, I saw her in my first year, but I don't recall having any, you know, connection or anything to speak to her. I know that she was a year ahead of me, but I didn't, I don't know, I wasn't drawn to her. But I think it was third year or second year, my second year when I heard, you know, classmates attack and I think, the girl that feel in and be watching time and something like that. you know so 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 and the talk that spread and spread and spread and so on people had a lot of bad things to say a lot of person had a, some persons had a lot of um sympathy some persons were saying that me sorry for you some persons were saying me sorry for you why she i feel like something so let's let's hear her story i asked her what's your story she said that she is a mother, she is a wife, and she's just been going through it. Um, she said she doesn't think, believe that she has much, her story is not something major, but I personally don't believe that. Um, to see her here now, still persevering after seven years, I think that's a story worth telling. Um, have learned from a very young age to never judge a book by its cover and being in university or being in nursing school I can attest that it's not easy and if you meet someone along the way like her who struggles like that it should be a case where I'm going to talk to my friends and say here said a girl I feel much in time I'm gonna be like what the hell why how she a manage she or she a Oh, she manage. I don't know if it's because I am a Christian, and um, there's this popular saying in Jamaica like, um, I am sorry for you, but me glad I know me. I cannot have that mentality as a Christian. If I see someone hurting as a Christian, I, I am feel I may not be feeling at the same magnitude that they are feeling, it, but me, I feel it too. Because that could have happened to anybody you don't know and you don't swear because you don't know what life life set up yet, right? The next question I asked her, what's the most difficult course she encountered here at Youth Tech? She said, um, academic writing, no, AMP2. I asked her now, what's the easiest course? She said, none. And when she said that, I realized that she was literally having a challenging time during her years at UT. To be able to say that there are no easy course, that there, you don't find any module to be easier than any, she was really struggling. So, I get that. And for me, I do believe that every module that we do here is challenging and they all take work, whether English or maths or whatever. 
Personally for me, the easiest to model would be something that's more practical like first aid, right? So the next question I asked was just to get into it, I wanted to ensure because maybe that ear I can think about it, I should feel how much I think maybe I should feel about seven times. So to clarify it, I asked her to list the and she showed me on her portal all the fails that she got and the amount of times that she failed. So she said she failed A and P six times. She did the and P six times. People, I would have been gone from the second time. If I failed the first time, maybe then I would, you know, persevere. You know, with my support system, they would push me to go again. But if I feel again for the second time, then I would have been out. I would have taken it as a sign. And I would have been out. So comment down below and let me know what you what would you do now. Other than him, imagine to do him six times. Remember there's a policy that um, when you feel a model you can't progress. But during her time it wasn't that strict, I guess. So she was able to do some models in the other years and so on. It is when we started school that they got strict with it and that is how she got held back. Because at first she was doing the modules maybe in third year while she was failing and so on. But then university, well nursing council said nope, 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 you have to pass before you proceed. So other than AMP, she failed academic writing three times, academic writing one. And a lot of persons said that academic writing was a very difficult course uh, also research methodology I can understand why she would believe that um, that one was hard too I did that course online and um, I cannot tell you something that I learned I think I cannot tell you something that I learned but yeah um, part of this that's that's another course like AMP that controls the book she explained to me that um, she needed I think one or five percent to pass and she still ended up failing um, I'm not going to tell any lecturer or anybody out there to say you know if a student just need one percent to pass put them through but I'm saying that if you see that or if you know that this student has been going through such a a rough time give her a coursework give her something to make up for the grade but you know god's plan and she also failed diet therapy pharmacology biostats um i asked her so that's all the models that she feels and the amount of time it's a lot but she's still here right i asked her how do you motivate yourself she said she is a mother and what she's doing is for her kids. A lot of persons in my class, throughout the years that we've been here, they have become, they became mothers. So I know, I know that you guys can understand that you are doing something not just for yourself, but for your baby. And I know that you guys can also understand that nursing school is not easy. And imagine having kids with nursing school you get me I said so that cannot be easy and she has more than one children different different levels basic primary high school so it cannot it cannot be easy um, so I asked her if she hears rumors about herself because as I said that's how I heard about her she said no she said people talk but you don't consider it rumor because people talk all the time for me personally if i were in her shoes and i've been hearing and i would hear things about myself i don't think i would let it bother me either but it would have been discouraging especially seeing that i cannot pass a module it would be really hard but i don't think it would get to me that bad and knowing the type of person i am um I asked her how she felt about failing um, the first time versus, you know, repeatedly. She said the first time, um, you know, she felt bad. She was very discouraged. 
um yeah so that's that um i asked her do you think that you could have done better you know like when i said that, when i asked that i meant like studying wise do you think that the reason you failed all those models is because you were not doing enough she said yes i know yes she could have done better there are some times when she could have pushed herself more but no because her issue was you know getting time management time to study time to put in the work a lot of these persons take this for granted myself too i uh, even though i get i am i have severe anxiety and i get in my little depression state i am grateful because i don't know what i would have done or how i would have managed if i were in a different situation where i had a family to take care of you know i am privileged to be able to go to school before I can think about all of that. Not everybody's journey is the same, right? So that's what she said. She said also, for the no factor, she said money was one of the greatest concerns. If you know the school, you know they don't pay money. If you don't have the money, go on, go on, go on, go on. That is why for me, when I decided that, hey, I'm going to nursing school, my second thought that came to my mind was how do I apply for student loan a lot of persons have a lot of bad things to say about student loan but I think it is better to have security yes you can maybe work on it and get the tuition if that's fine that's fine for you but I don't like that what if one day I lose my part-time job or my family who's supposed to help me the sides that they know but are you know anything can happen i don't want that i don't want anything to deter me from this journey that i am but just want done right so i can definitely understand the money factor of why she think that she could have done better i also asked her what's the greatest lesson learned she she said that um she's been a part of three different year groups because of course her year group would have graduated already and she was in another year group and then now she's with our set. She said what she has learned is that people need each other. She said during throughout those three year groups she realized that some some year group they don't really push you. There's no encouragement. There's no like say girl I can do this or girl I want to put something or why I do this. There is no form of encouragement. And I 100 percent agree. You cannot do this alone. You could have bright like man it's time. I want to see you do this alone. And it's not just about being bright. For me, um what I, I, I do I get along with most persons because one I have this don't care thing. If I want to talk to you, I'm gonna talk to you. You decide if you don't want to answer. So whether or not initially in the the years when the year when we just started her class kinda of took one like a divide and we were not getting along and I used to get in arguments with persons now that I'm looking back uh, it shouldn't even have happened but if you know me you know that this sometimes I cannot control because when I am passionate about something I am going to speak up I am not afraid to say that's one thing about me, I'm not afraid to speak up on anything. What I will do, I will do it respectfully, but I am going to speak up. So the class was a bit divided and over the time you start forming little cliques, cliques, cliques and I found mine and uh, you know we've been working together ever since. I don't think I could have done it alone. If I was a loner, I couldn't. So I totally understand. And another lesson she said she learned was you have to have self-motivation and that is true if you don't have self-motivation there's no way you're going to be able to get up five o'clock in the morning to get ready and go on clinicals stay up 12 o'clock do a 12 hour shift and then go back to a morning shift there's no way so i actually appreciated that, that she said those lessons she learned um, I asked what year were you supposed to graduate and that's when she told me that she started in 2014 she deferred she started 2014 
remember now it's a four year course she started 2014 and she deferred a year so she, she started classes 2015 and um, she's been here seven years so if she started 2014 14 15 16 17 she was supposed to be graduated like 2017 and it's 2021 now this is her last year so yeah I asked her do you ever feel like giving up because I'm talking to this girl and she is so confident she is so driven and I'm saying do you ever feel like giving up she said um, a lot of time especially when she did her surgery and uh, you know I can I can understand that I would as I said before I would have given up a long time ago um, what else did I ask her yes what advice would you give to others who are fields and students who are coming in who are new and just anybody in general? She said, never give up. Nothing beats a trial but a failure. And a degree is just a degree. What? Oh yeah. She was saying that when you get your degree, the degree won't say that congratulations show you what you've completed after failing so and so and so. She was saying that. No patient will ask you how much time you feel AMP. Once you get your degree, if you get it, you've earned it and you're good. And that that that's kinda that's something that I'm going to take for myself and you know keep it here as a little mantra. Something I always said to myself is I don't want to be the best nurse. There's no way I don't want to be the best nurse. I just want to be a good nurse. Right? Right, so you can think about those words and do the do. <laughs> um, I asked her why nursing. She said, you know, nursing chose her. Like many in the Caribbean, we are given the task of taking care of our younger siblings, our older grandparents, and so on. So she was the one in charge of taking care of her grandparents, and her grandmother was sickly. She, she told me some things that I, I cannot say and she had to be there you know so she said it was just natural for her or calling um, it wasn't a path that she thought that she would have ventured in coming out of high school she said the moment she knew she wanted to be a nurse she was with a child and um, she was you know on her commuting and there was an accident on the road and she came out and she started helping I said in that moment she knew that she wanted to be a nurse she wanted to help and she will be a nurse her journey might be a bit bumpy than mine or yours anybody but I think that I, I believe that she her story is worth telling um, it can maybe it can motivate you or help you to, maybe one day you just be stressed out so you can do this you can always think back on that student who surpassed all of this and she is now finally in her final year also sometimes there's a peep and you don't know their story you don't know them song you don't know no but you're just you know living life things say she just quote unquote done so something everyone has a story never judge i cannot imagine going through this i cannot imagine going through this and coming out as a nurse nope i cannot see myself doing it and to see her if you if you know her if you're watching this and you know her or if you don't know her <laughs> know her um please leave a comment in the comment section below a word of encouragement as she will be watching this video and i i cannot emphasize enough how shocked i am at her strength talking to her she is so calm she is she, she just have that driven personality. She would say, yeah man, I'm gonna pass. Yeah man, I'm gonna do this. Yeah man, I'm gonna do that. But um, that's it. That's her story. No, I want you guys to, after hearing all of that, after listening to all of that, 
just take a moment put yourself in her shoe and um let me know you know what do you think could have happened if it was you or do you think how would you under that situation but yeah that's what i want to know i personally could do it she is so strong she's resilient and even if some person still isn't convinced that you know people still out there spreading rumors spreading lies or whatever it is are just talking in general about her i do hope this video will you know open your eyes to say you know don't judge imagine going through nursing school you know losing losing a parent you know losing a job having a family where you're not working you have to be going to school with children and different you have to you know take care of your kids and all that imagine doing that first coming to nursing school and you feel a module or modules and persons around you instead of encouraging you and pushing you are tearing you down by talking all kind of stuff so um we also spoke of uh, i asked her what do you think that like, the school could have done it's not the school responsibility, but you know the school is gonna say you have to read for your degree. But what do you think like the school could have done? She's saying that yes, you have a chaplain, you have counselors, but if you she was saying that you know every year you start with a large number and then by the next semester a lot of persons leave. She's saying that the school should have something put in place where at the end of each semester there's an evaluation for each student, especially now during COVID, this crisis, a lot of persons have developed depression and anxiety and they just need someone to talk to. It's not just counseling where you go and sit and ask about your day. It's an evaluation, you know, saying that, hey, I am failing and I want to stop. Someone to be there to say, hey, you started, you started, you applied for a reason and you can pull through and give you quality advice, right? So that's all that's our story and i do hope that some of you so i know that you guys are busy now second years and first years and fourth years are out and practicum third years are doing classes online and practicum so we're all busy but given that you take the time to watch this video i do hope that you are inspired please encourage someone to be and for the rest of the week whenever you see somebody just encourage somebody if you're not in the nursing field please encourage a nursing student or somebody in this field because it is not easy this life of getting to your dream career is not easy and then to see what you're getting yourself into we, we to see the the, the the profession or the the environment that you're getting yourself into is a very stressful one so, I do encourage you guys to just encourage somebody today. Leave a prayer, leave a word of encouragement in the comment section below. And I do hope you guys have an awesome rest of week, awesome rest of day, awesome rest of semester, awesome rest of year. There will be a lot more videos coming. Uh, maybe not like this, but there will be a lot more videos coming. I have a lot of content. I just needed time to go ahead and do those and I'm still working on the giveaway for you guys. I have a lot of stuff already but I'm trying to get more stuff so that not just one person win or one person get something. I need at least 10 winners, something like that. So thank you guys so much for watching and I do hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.